Statistics and Probability is brought to you by the math teacher. Our lesson is all about sampling distribution. For further understanding of our lesson about sampling distribution, we also need to distinguish between parameter and statistic. A parameter is a measure that describes a population. Parameters are usually denoted by Greek letters. Population mean mu, population variance sigma squared, population standard deviation sigma, are examples of parameters. On the other hand, a statistic is a measure that describes a sample. Statistics are usually denoted by Roman letters. Examples are sample mean bar x, sample variance s squared, and sample standard deviation s. And here's for further discussion of sampling distribution. There are many different possible samples of the same size that can be drawn from a given population. A statistic such as a mean, can be computed from each of the samples drawn. To find the mean mu sub x, of the sampling distribution of means, use the following formula. This can be read as, the mean of the sampling distribution of means, mu sub x, is equal to the summation of the sample mean, bar x, divided by the total number of observations, n. To find the mean of the sampling distribution of means, here is an alternative formula. Mu sub x, is equal to the summation of the product of bar x, and p sub x, where mu sub x is the mean of the sampling distribution of means. Bar x is the sample mean. P sub x is the probability of each sample mean. And for the definition, the probability distribution that describes the probability for each mean, of all the samples with the same sample size n, is called sampling distribution. To figure out how to find the mean of the sampling distribution of mean mu sub x, and likewise the mean of the population mu. Let's have example 1. Consider the population consisting of the values 2, 3, and 5. List all the possible samples of size 2, that can be drawn from the population with replacement. Then, compute the mean bar x for each sample. Lastly, find the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu. For the solution, let's construct table 1. Means of samples drawn with replacement from the population, 2, 3, 5, where the sample size equals 2. For the first observation, the samples are, 2, and 2, and the sample mean, is 2.0. For the second observation, the samples are, 2, and 3, and the sample mean, is 2.5. For the third observation, the samples are, 2, and 5, and the sample mean, is 3.5. For the fourth observation, the samples are, 3, and 2, and the sample mean, is 2.5. For the fifth observation, the samples are, 3, and 3, and the sample mean, is 3.0. For the sixth observation, the samples are, 3, and 5, and the sample mean, is 4.0. For the seventh observation, the samples are, 5, and 2, and the sample mean, is 3.5. For the eighth observation, the samples are, 5, and 3, and the sample mean, is 4.0. For the ninth observation, the samples are, 5, and 5, and the sample mean, is 5.0. A total of 9 samples, with 9 sample means, can be drawn from the population, 2, 3, 5. The probability of occurrence of each mean is 1 over 9. And now let's construct table 2. Sampling distribution of means with replacement, where the sample size equals 2, number of observations equals 9, and the probability of each sample mean, p sub x, equals 1 over 9. On the first column of the table, we list down the 9 sample means, that we have obtained from table 1, and on the second column are the corresponding probabilities, of each of the sample means. On the third column are the products, of each of the sample means, and their corresponding probabilities. From the table, we get the summation of the sample means equal to 30. The corresponding probabilities, resulted from the number of observations equal to 9, and finally, the sum of the products of bar x and p sub x equals 3.33.
And now let's find the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu. For the solution, using the given formula and the alternative formula, both of which yield the value 3.33, as the mean of the sampling distribution of means, mu sub x. And to continue with the solution, using the given formula for finding the mean of the population mu, we also get 3.33. Notice that the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu, are both equal to 3.33. Thus mu sub x, equals mu, equals 3.33. Now let's have example 2. Consider the population consisting of the values 1, 3, and 8. List all the possible samples of size 2, that can be drawn from the population with replacement. Then, compute the mean bar x for each sample. Lastly, find the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu. For the solution, let's construct table 1, means of samples drawn with replacement from the population. The probability of occurrence of each mean is 1 over 9. And now again, let's construct table 2. Sampling distribution of means with replacement, where the sample size equals 2, number of observations equals 9, and the probability of each sample mean, p sub x, equals 1 over 9. On the first column of the table, we list down the 9 sample means, that we have obtained from table 1, and on the second column are the corresponding probabilities, of each of the sample means. On the third column are the products, of each of the sample means, and their corresponding probabilities. From the table, we get the summation of the sample means equal to 36. The corresponding probabilities, resulted from the number of observations equal to 9, and finally, the sum of the products of bar x and p sub x equals 4.00. And now let's find the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu. For the solution, using the given formula, and the alternative formula, both of which yield the value 4.00, as the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x. And to continue with the solution, using the given formula for finding the mean of the population mu, we also get 4.00. And now, what can you conclude about the mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, and the mean of the population mu? Let's summarize. A parameter is a measure that described a population denoted by Greek letter, while a statistic is a measure that described a sample denoted by Roman letter. The mean of the sampling distribution of means mu sub x, is equal to the mean of the population mu. And here's the performance task. Let's consider the population consisting the values, 1, 2, 5, and 8. Number 1. List all the possible samples of size 2 with replacement. Number 2. Compute the mean of each sample. Number 3. Identify the probability of each sample. Number 4. Compute the mean of the sampling distribution of means, and the population mean. Number 5. Compare the population mean with the mean of the sampling distribution of means. Now you have learned that. The probability distribution, that describes the probability for each mean, of all the samples with the same sample size n, is called sampling distribution. Thank you.